guys. So I am making it my goal this month to try and make more actual video blogs instead of just me unboxing things for you because I feel like I've been doing mostly that lately and I miss video blogging. So today I want to talk to you about shipping. Now, I'm sure most of you watching this probably already know what shipping is, but just in case you don't, I decided to look it up on Urban Dictionary because Urban Dictionary is fun anyway. So, um, it just says that shipping is a term used to describe fan fictions that take previously created characters and put them as a pair. It usually refers to romantic relationships, but it can refer platonic ones as well. Think of shipping as short for a relationship. So basically, when you ship two characters, you want them to be a pair, whether it be a romantic pair, or friendship pair, or whatever. Just had a knock at the door from the mail person, so let's see if I can remember where I was. So today I want to talk to you about some of the people that I ship, either romantically or friendship-ish or whatever, but most of the ones I have listed that I could think of were, were uh, romantic ones. There are a couple of friendship ones on there, there too, though. And I know I have more than what I have listed, these are just the ones that I could kind of think of on the spot. And I'm going to do it by a uh, fandom, TV show, whatever. Some of these shows I'm going to be talking about ships from are Harry Potter, uh, Once Upon a Time, Friends, Grey's Anatomy, Slash Private Practice, Doctor Who, and The Hunger Games. So if you haven't seen all of it, or if you care about spoilers at all. Some of this may be spoilers for you, so I just wanted to let you know in case you want to stop watching now or you want to skip over that part. Um, so there you go. So we're going to start with Harry Potter since that's probably my favorite thing ever. My definite uh, one true pairing or OTP, which is another term that you use for like your favorite pairing in a thing or whatever, kind of speaks for itself, um, is definitely Ron Hermione. I love their relationship. I was really glad that they ended up together. I just think that their relationship is so cute and I think that whenever I was first reading the books I didn't really like catch a lot of the signs that Joe had given us um, in regards to the relationship because I was too young to really like catch that but like going back and reading them I'm like oh I see what you did there Joe. So she was kind of hinting at it before it ever became a thing. And the next two from the Harry Potter universe are kind of they're not like something that I ship 100%, but I still prefer this over what actually happened. Um, I'll start off with saying that I am not a fan of Harry and Ginny. I never really just, I just never really got the two of them together as a pair. I don't know. Um, I actually prefer Harry and Luna as a pair. I don't know how exactly they're if they were to be in a romantic relationship, how that would work well. Um, I mean, I think that it could develop into something really beautiful, but I definitely ship their friendship because I just love the fact that even though Luna is just so strange, she has this like weird connection with Harry, and Harry just gets her in a way. And I think because of that, they could form potentially a, a good romantic relationship, but even if that were not a thing, I definitely ship their friendship for sure. And I also always like the idea of Neville and Ginny. Um, I can't really explain why, but I always just thought that that was a much better idea than what actually happened in the books. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, that's just how I feel about it. Next I'm going to talk about some of my Doctor Who ones. Um, probably my OTP from Doctor Who is the Doctor and River. I think that River was one of the, probably the best thing to come out of Matt Smith's time at Doctor Who, and even though River technically came during Dav David Tennant's time, she really developed during Matt Smith's time, and that's, she's probably my favorite character of the Matt Smith era. I really love River. I love the Doctor and River's relationship, and even though I really love the Doctor and Rose as well, Rose is my favorite companion, I really loved their relationship, and I don't necessarily think I would be upset if the Doctor and Rose had developed more into a thing than it got to be developed into. I really love the Doctor and River's relationship the most. I'm glad things worked out with Rose the way they did, and if nothing else, I ship the Doctor and Rose's friendship. Uh, next we'll scoot on over to Once Upon a Time. Um, I have a lot of things to talk about in Once Upon a Time. Uh, probably my OTP for Once Upon a Time is Captain Swan. If you don't know the names, it's Emma and Captain Hook, and I I love this pairing. I love their relationship. They're, I just, 
I get feels every time something comes up on my Tumblr dash about Captain Swan, and I just really love everything to do with them. I think they are perfect, and damn it, writers, you better not screw this up. Another one that I really, really love that I am hoping works out is Outlaw Queen. I Regina is probably my favorite character. It took a while for her to become my favorite character, but she is my favorite character, and I really just want things to work out for her. And I really love how deeply her and Robin Hood love each other, and I really want that to work out. Mostly I just want to see Regina get her happy ending, but I really do hope it's with Robin Hood. Um, she finds it some other way that's really great for her too, but I really love her and Robin Hood's relationship. It's just so beautiful, and the writers have done such a good job with creating that relationship, I think. A lot of people ship Swan Queen, which is Emma and Regina, romantically, and I've just never, I've never gotten that. I don't think that would work well. Um, I don't know. I just, I've never really understood that the two of them together is a romantic thing. I never felt that way at all. I do, however, ship their friendship. I am so glad that they are starting to become friends, especially for Henry's sake. And I know a lot of that has to do with Regina's um, beautiful transition of character the past couple of seasons, but I am just, I ship their friendship so much. I hope that the writers continue to uh, develop that, and uh, I do hope that that always stays a thing. I hope that um, they're, they continue to keep being friends. Like I said, especially for Henry's sake. <laughs> Let's talk about Friends, the TV show. The TV show. I, one of my, probably my favorite television couple in all of history is Monica and Chandler from Friends. I, their friendship, their friendship transitioning into their romance is just so beautifully, it's so, it's so beautiful, it's so well done. I want a relationship like Monica and Chandler have. I Like, that's my ideal, what would be a perfect relationship. Start off friends, become something more, it works out wonderful, and then you're like... Like, that would just... That would be, like, the... Like, that's, like, my idea of a perfect relationship. I love Monica and Chandler. Their relationship is just so wonderful, and, um... I know a lot of, like, the a lot of the th people, their big uh, ship from that show is Ross and Rachel, and I do ship Ross and Rachel, I do, but there are a lot of bumps in the road with them, and even though I know deep down that they are meant to be, and, and everything, like, it just doesn't compare to Monica and Chandler for me, it just does not even compare. I'd also like to mention, uh, from The Hunger Games, I hate Gail. I hate Gail. Um... I really like Katniss and Peeta. Um, I don't... It's hard for me to say that they're an OTP of mine just because I feel like even there, even though I ship them, it's still very rocky and very complicated. And I know relationships are supposed to be rocky and complicated, but from the way that their world is, uh... It complicates things a little more. I don't know. I don't know. I ship Katniss with Peeta more than anybody else in the book, but I also feel like Katniss would do just fine by herself without a guy. She doesn't really need a guy. So I don't know. It's a little complicated, but um, there's that. And my last kind of like category TV show thing is like the Grey's Anatomy Private Practice Universe because um, I have a lot in there because Grey's Anatomy has been on for I think like 11 seasons now. This is the 11th season. And Private Practice was the spinoff of that, and it had six seasons, so there's a lot that happens in that time frame. Definitely my number one OTP from Grey's Anatomy, and it's probably the same with many other people that watch the show, is Derek and Meredith. I don't care what has happened between them in the past 11 seasons, they are still meant to be. I don't care. They are meant to be. They will figure everything out. That's just how they roll. Another pairing that I really, really like was Mark and Lexi. I loved Mark and Lexi, but I loved Mark and Lexi, and I miss that, and that's what I'm going to say. And another pairing that I kind of wish would have worked out better was Izzy and Alex. I wish that would have worked out, because I think that there was a lot of potential there, and then it just... I think a lot of that has to do with Katherine Heigl 
leaving the show. Obviously, I feel like if she had chosen not to leave the show, they would probably still be together because I think that they had a really good relationship. But yeah, I wish that was still a thing. As far as private practice, I kind of leave these two together because Addison was on Grey's Anatomy first and she's the one that got the spinoff. And I... I don't really ship Addison with a lot of people that she was on Grey's Anatomy with. Um, I shipped her with Mark for a while, just a little bit, but not enough. Like, I still don't think that would have worked out well. I really like her and Jake, and um, I, never, I never was a fan of her and um, Sam. I never liked that pairing. I was glad that that stopped being a thing. I really like Addison and Jake. Um, I think that their relationship is really cute. And um, one that I was okay with, sort of, was Addison and Pete. Um, I thought that that could have had some potential, but I'm glad that Violet and Pete got together. I liked what they had a lot, even though it was incredibly complicated and it did not work at times, but I still am glad that that happened. But probably my favorite relationship from private practice is Charlotte and Cooper. Um, Charlotte is my favorite character on Private Practice. She is one of the strongest characters I've probably seen on a TV show, and I really like her and Cooper's relationship, and, um, I just think it's a really great pairing, and I really love them. Um, and they go through so many different dynamics in the show. In just six seasons, they go through many, so many, so, they go through so many different dynamics in as far as their relationship, and I really... I really like the two of them together. So I know I probably have more ships that I could talk about, but I can't think of them. So I'm going to end this here, and I think I probably rambled on for long enough. I want to know in the comments if you have any of the same ships that I do, or tell me about some of the ships you have, and let's get a discussion going down in the comments. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.